Hey y'all, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make cornbread dressing. Okay y'all, so the first thing we're going to do is make our cornbread. I'm just going to take... I'm just gonna take three boxes of Jiffy Mix, and all you're gonna do is just follow the instructions on the box. I don't use measurements when it comes to milk and stuff, but just follow what's on the side of the box. But while it's dry, I'm just gonna mash it down so all the these big pieces won't you don't bite into no no powder. So I'm just gonna smash them up while they while it's dry. So I'm just going to take my three eggs. And then I'm just going to pour my milk in here. Not sure how much, but I'm sure I'll figure it out once I start mixing it. <laughs> That'll like enough to me. So I'm going to... Um, blend this up and then I'll come back okay so I got my cornbread all mixed up right here whatever uh, texture you want it to be that's up to you I like mine a little thick like this kind of like pancake batter so in here I got like two tablespoons of butter that's melted in here just so that it won't stick to the pan if you want to use cooking spray you can do that it doesn't matter it's up to you so I'm just gonna pour more cornbread in here So I got my oven set on 350, so we gonna put this in here about, I don't know what the box say. I just checked mine and I can tell when it's done. <laughs> um, yeah, 15 to 20 minutes, that's what the box say. The box also says 400, but my oven is on 350. So we just gonna put that in there and I'll show y'all when I come back. Okay, y'all, so my cornbread is out the oven. So all I'm gonna do now is just break it up. And then I'm gonna add all my vegetables in my in my little juices I'm probably gonna do So right here I'm adding one can of cream of chicken, one can of chicken of mushroom, and then I'm going to fill up two of those cans with chicken broth. Then I'm going to mix them all together and see if I like the consistency. You might need more liquid than I use because I did take out a chunk of cornbread to eat with the chicken I made that night. <laughs> so you can either add an extra can of the cream of chicken, the mushroom, or you can add extra chicken broth. That's up to you. So right here I have about four tablespoons of green onions, uh, like three tablespoons of yellow onions, half of a bell pepper, and like two tablespoons of sage. Nope, that ain't sage, that's rosemary. And if you want to, you can use celery also, but over time, I decided to just take celery out of my recipe. So for my seasoning, I'm going to use black pepper, sage, and I like how this garlic and herb seasoning tastes, so I'm going to add that as well. As well. I do not say as well. 
and you're also gonna need some thyme. You can use fresh thyme or seasoning. I don't have it in this video because I thought I had some at home, but when I got here, I didn't, so. And since I like how black pepper tastes when it's grinded up, I'm gonna use this also. But you don't have to use it while you mix your dressing. You just taste it and add whatever seasonings that you wanna add. So now I'm just gonna put a little bit of butter on top. I got my oven set to 350 and two hours later, this is what it looks like. So I hope y'all like this video. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye y'all. about this sage like how did I get rubbed sage like it don't even really smell like nothing I don't know how I messed that up oh well oh shit I'm